To be honest, I have no idea why I started my YouTube channel. I'm like a village girl. And nobody knew me doing vlogs for who? Well, I'm not even interested in them. For my friends who know me, you can tell by my videos I'm not myself. I've been hiding behind a smile to engage my feeling as if I should hide and create this whole new identity of myself, which is quite sad to watch. I was going through a lot this year. Me moving to a new place, leaving school, getting a job, family issues, relationship issues, my depression, on top of that, COVID. It was a hard moment, you can say, my lowest points. There are times where I feel like exploding and the loneliness and the anger problems that life just had to give. And I remember blaming myself. Reality, my fate, and everything around me, including myself. I used to cry hoping for someone to notice I'm not okay. Just someone to believe in me, someone to save me from my fears. Someone to save me from this dark room I created for myself. For years, it has affected my relationship and my friendship and my life. I was standing there blaming my creator too. <laughs> wow. I reached a point where one day I was crying in my rented room, crying then stop, and I started to record myself, hoping maybe I will stop. Because I realized I look ugly when I cry. <laughs> but I couldn't stop. That actually made it worse because there was a part of me who could see that I had potential. I had what it takes. I had to improve. And still, with everything going on, I was hoping. That small hope shows you that you want to change, to become a better person, to get help. But at the end, I was still saying, what if? If I hadn't, if I could, if it wasn't for, if I can, but I can't. Shake it, shake. I saw how I limited myself to the expectations of others. And what's up with my obsession with if? Damn. <laughs> At a point, I realized that I am willing to sit in front of a mirror, record myself to help myself, to stop myself. If I'm motivated this much, I can surely motivate myself to work on myself. Because pain is also part of the experience of being a human. So I got up, hold my Bible, and prayed for a better direction. I took risks to love myself. I have hurt too much and lost too much, so what do I have to lose? No more what ifs and more of it is what it is. I believe that accepting how reality affects you and not questioning why me, why it happened, hating yourself or not noticing it in time could lead to situations where at a point you will not forgive yourself, but instead learning how you can move from it, trying to change the outcome will help you to come to an understanding that it's okay not to be okay. And plus, people have their own problems to deal with, and nobody's going to waste time to care about what you do. Hell, in fact, they're probably thinking the same thing as you, scared that someone is watching them. So honey, just live your life. Of course, I was scared of something that hasn't happened yet. Not knowing the outcome used to scare me. So I started to experiment. At a point, fear creates this idea of ever exaggerating thinking that it's embarrassing or someone might see me. This thought drives a person to a corner, but each time for me, I slowly started to replace what if with so. It's like my brain split into half. One if it was telling me, oh my god, I can't believe I did this and the other half telling me, so, who cares? Are you happy? Did you enjoy it? Then continue. Is it embarrassing? Then do it while embarrassed. Trust me, you won't regret it. for someone to notice. I noticed myself. It took me six months to own up to what happened and get professional help. 
to do things I wasn't even comfortable with doing. Of course, I'm still healing and probably will continue to heal, but at least I'm here today and I'm alive. And you probably can do it too. Don't say life is not fair. Yes, it's cruel, but not because of you. You really should be fair to yourself. You should really love yourself. Do not create a new identity for others. You know yourself better than anyone, so take risks. At this point, what you have to lose? And I created this channel as a form of rebellion, as a form of obtaining my freedom, as a visual diary, a place where I can store my story, a type of freedom philosophy. For those who don't know me, hi, I'm Mary, and this is my freedom philosophy.